truth. 6 a.m. Welcome back to Colorado Family Travels. This is a throwback Thursday to an event that happened in February of 2012. One more Disney day. This was a special event that was running for leap year, February 29th. One more Disney day. Uh, Jennifer and I decided to fly out to Orlando, Florida and spend 24 hours inside the Magic Kingdom. And as Jen said, it was extremely crazy, um, but had a lot of fun. So this is our coverage of One More Disney Day, February 29th of 2012. Lots of pictures, some video, but uh, we'll kind of add in as we go along here. Hope you enjoy.
As you can tell from the video, there was just a buzz in the air. Everyone was all excited for 6 a.m. Um, as you can tell, it is really foggy outside and it created some cool pictures, cool effects, and just a weird morning. So that was kind of fun. One of the things that we thought would be fun was we would mark every hour of our 24 hour journey with a picture wherever we were at at the parks at that time. The lines for the rides were extremely short and they were able to hop on real quick. I uh, didn't mention uh, Jennifer and I were joined by her college program roommate, one of her best friends, Ellen, on this trip. We spent all 24 hours running around with us. We were able to accomplish a lot at the beginning of this party, 6 a.m. Things were just going fast. The fog still thick. Never seen it this thick. So here we are already at hour two. Things were going fast and furious at the beginning of this event. You can see we've already changed our shirts. We now have the party shirts for one more magical Disney day. One of the things that was kind of funny is I was putting this all together. I was like, why did we keep going to the front of the park? We'd go back into the back of the park. And then now we're back up to the front for pictures with the princesses who are now uh, meeting where Tinkerbell now meets. It used to be the princesses. We're like, why are we back at the front of the park again? I just couldn't figure it out. Then I remembered we did a tour that day. We did the uh, Keys to the Kingdom tour. And so you'll see we've got our little badges on and we're back up at the front. Mickey and Minnie walking around in their PJs. They'll pop back up uh, later on in the event. The end of the night, we get to take our picture with them, but they were just walking around at the beginning of the day. Hour three already, but we are on the Keys to the Kingdom tour at this point, going through the castle, telling us stories. I don't remember anything from the tour, but uh, it was just kind of funny to remember that we had done the tour. We figured we had 24 hours to spend, and that'd be a good way to spend a couple hours of the day. An attraction that is no longer in the Magic Kingdom, Snow White's Scary Adventure, now a character meet and greet. It was a fun attraction back in the day, but it did close not long after this party, if I remember correctly. I think it closed in 2013 or 2014. Uh, comment down below if uh, you remember when it closed. Hour four, we are in line for many adventures on Winnie the Pooh, it looks like. Hour five, we're queued up for the Carousel of Progress. It wasn't an exact science on when we would take these pictures. We would take them as close to the hour as we could, but if we knew we were going to be inside an attraction, we'd kind of stop and take it. They're pretty much close to his hour as possible. We meet up with Stitch and start hour six with a spin on the Mad Tea Party. Really not sure if I forgot or if we decided to do Winnie the Pooh for the second time on this trip. One of the cool things was all the characters being out in their costumes, so we did get to see Donald over in Frontierland in his cool costume. And then something we rarely do because we don't have time, we took a ride on the Liberty Bell. Fun adventure, something that takes up a lot of time, but since we had the time, we used it. The paddle boat is just awesome and you get to see things that you don't see from other places within the Magic Kingdom. Hour 7 and plastic cheese sauce at Pecos Bill. Love this plastic cheese sauce. Wish it would be back in more places now. After Pecos Bill, it's time for a flight on Peter Pan. Paper Fast Passes make an appearance. I forgot they still had Paper Fast Passes back then. We are now in line to get on the river boat to head over to Tom Sawyer Island. Again, another thing that we don't usually get to do because we don't have enough time. But now with this uh, 24 hours, we had time to explore Tom Sawyer Island, the caves, the windmill, and all the different areas that we only typically get to see while walking by heading over to Splash Mountain or Big Thunder or Haunted Mansion. Hour eight on the island, we 
you're still smiling. Pirate Goofy was hanging out over by Pirates of the Caribbean. It's cool to see him in his outfit. Hour 9 comes to us as we exit Pirates of the Caribbean. Nine hours down. One of our favorite treats, uh, Dole Whip, back then served at the Aloha Isle. Hour 10, we found a spot to just sit and relax in the shade as it was now time for the 3 o'clock parade. Hour 11 and we're meeting Jasmine and Aladdin. Jasmine was checking out our cards and was impressed with how we were making it through our day. They both thought it was a great idea and really enjoyed playing along with us. Another attraction that we rarely have time to spend looking around, the Swiss Family Treehouse was on our agenda for that day. Shortly after this, I do believe this attraction also changed, but at the time it was still the Swiss Family Treehouse. How are you holding up? I'm tired. How long have we been going now? Well, about almost, almost 12. 11 hours. <laughs> I just want to see myself. Too many hours. Too many hours? Tired. We're still trying though. We're laden. Laden carpets. Crossing a lot off the list. Hour 12, then we are on the magic carpets of the Latin. Followed very quickly by hour 13. So I'm not sure where we were in the process and how it went together and how we spent our time, but hour 13, halfway done. With hour 13, we found this place on the wall. We had seen a couple other people who had found a power outlet at the Magic Kingdom and were able to charge their phones, something that in 2012 wasn't a very common occurrence. But we sat there for quite a while and charged up our batteries. For hour 14, we decided to have dinner at Tony's Town Square Restaurant. One of the first times that we've eaten there, and in fact, I think the last time we've ever eaten there. Good food. Good friends, good fun.
Hour 15, we have finished dinner. Tony, so good. Really good Italian food right there in the Magic Kingdom. We now move over to Monsters, Inc. Flat Floor, another place that we rarely visit, but fun to sit down and get some laughs. Hour 16, time for some Space Ranger spins with Buzz Lightyear. Still think to this day, this is one of our favorite attractions, a great way to spend some time, a great way to cool off on a hot day, the people mover going throughout Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover, one of our favorite attractions. A rarity unless you're at one of the paid after parties getting all four of the Winnie the Pooh characters together at the same time. Hour 17 brings us to the carousel for a nice leisurely spin in the middle of the Magic Kingdom. One of my favorite movies, the Goofy movie, and absolutely love this dance. Goofy didn't pull off the perfect cast very well, but still fun to watch it and listen to the music. Hour 18, I have hit the wall. We are waiting in Town Square Theater to meet Mickey and Minnie. And for some reason, there was an extremely long wait. Uh, we sat and waited and waited, and I finally fell asleep on the floor inside the theater waiting to meet Mickey and Minnie. By the time we finally got in to see Mickey and Minnie, it was now hour 19. Uh, like we saw earlier, they were in their PJs, so it was a fun experience. Everybody was tired. How oh, 90. Hour 20 is upon us and we've met some more of our friends bright and early in the morning at the parks now to enjoy some more magic. Chip and Dale and their cute PJs. I loved that Dale's tummy was hanging out. Hour 21 and now it's time for a Mickey Pretzel. Hour 22, and Phineas and Ferb loved the cards also and had fun playing around with the cards and tried to figure out what they said and what they were all about. Tried to find out how many hours would be in summer, as far as I remember. Hour 23 was all about people watching. We literally sat on this bench, probably fell asleep a couple times, and just watched the people going by. Hour 24, and somehow I think we're on that same bench, but we're still smiling. I remember watching the clock very intently. There was no way we were leaving that park before 6 a.m. Leap year 2012, we did it. One more Disney day. We survived 24 hours 
in the Magic Kingdom. We walked out at 6.01 a.m. We were lucky enough to have a room at Bay Lake Tower BLT, walked back, seeing the sunrise before we had gone to bed. Amazing time, amazing trip. So glad we did it. We ended up being one of the last 24 hour parties that Disney had. There was another one in 2015 and that was it. That's the end of our journey. Thanks for watching. It was so fun looking back on all the things that we did and the amazing trip we had. Hope you enjoyed. Now for us, it's back to the rat race. <laughs>